your brain, right? Your skull and your nice big wet brain inside, right? Not too wet. We want it to be just right wet. And part of the mechanism that keeps the fluids in the brain balanced just right and offering probably immunity to the brain and definitely adjusting the fluid balance in the brain is the lymph system. Lymph, it turns out, seems to be working very, very intimately with the central nervous system. The interstitial uh, fluids within the brain can get mucked up, right? They can get gummed up with excessive proteins, little problem cells, bacteria, who knows what. And they need, like any other part of the body, they need that stuff to get washed away. Well, for some reason, our Western science has not recognized until oh so very recently that our brain has this lymphatic system all the way through it. That there are um, lymphatic vessels, vessels that are able to absorb and take in pretty big proteins and, uh, and particles that your, your blood system, the capillaries, can't absorb. So it's so necessary, if you think about it, in terms of your brain and your entire central nervous system also woven through its wrappings with these lymphatic vessels. This is so important, <laughs> how we cleanse and wash our brains. So one of the things my teacher has said is she, she said, well, of course we knew there were, there were lymph vessels in the, uh, in the brain. Of course we knew, but maybe not all of us, not Western science knew. Of course we knew. Um, but she said, it's so nice that they've discovered it, <laughs> right? So these, these vessels are all through the meninges, the wrapping, so they go all the way to the, uh, to the very bottom of the central nervous system, all the way down at your coccyx. And they're interrelating uh, with the cerebrospinal fluid. And together with the glial cells, the big, that, like these spongy cells, you'd think of those more like the glials than the you know, the neurons, the glial cells, this big fluid supportive structure of your brain works together with the lymph um, vessels to drain the excess fluid from the brain. And here's the critical thing, to drain the excess proteins and the stuff that can muck up your brain. So, I'm excited. I'm excited to begin to uh, share this material with you as I've been working with it myself in terms of the lymph and clarity of mind and how we can, through our yoga practices, uh, really enhance the, the process of this rocking and cleansing and rinsing of our brain and the keeping of a good level of fluid balance by supporting the movement with sensing and with feeling, with touch. These are only part of the uh, explorations that we'll be doing in this nervous system workshop that is coming up pretty soon and I I hope perhaps you'll join me. It's through Yoga Center Amherst uh, on the nervous system, three hours, December 12th. And if you go to my link tree at my uh, profile page, 
you'll be able to click on it and register. So I hope you'll consider it and I'll see you there. Thanks.